We're going to take a little time here for communion. A couple of thoughts that I had. Uh, kind of stemmed from what Dad talked about this morning, and then Zachary kind of touched the phone and talked a little bit. So here we are celebrating the 4th of July. So what are we celebrating really is our freedom. The beginning of this country. And the sacrifice in which it took to gain what we have here today. From the very beginning when we fought for our freedom from England. How many people sacrificed through that struggle, through that war? How many people died because they believed it was worth fighting for? Freedom. And we live in this country today that was founded and has fundamentals that are based on freedom. And think about the sacrifice, that's the word, the sacrifice that had to take place, the blood that had to be shed for us to gain that freedom. We also have freedom in another sense, which took sacrifice, which also required blood to be shed to gain that freedom. Because of Jesus Christ, we have freedom from sin. We are no longer slaves to sin because of the sacrifice God made, Jesus made, and the blood that was shed for us to gain that freedom. And through everything that's going on in our world today, there's a, a short sentence that Jesus said at the Last Supper in that upper room as he was passing out the wine and passing the bread. He said, as often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Remember me. Remember Jesus. As Zach alluded to, Dad talked about it this morning, through everything that we go through, what is the one thing that we need to keep our eyes on? That is Jesus Christ. Remember me. For we all are struggling with our personal things. But we also are struggling in the world today with all the political unrest. With everything that's happening in all the world. Do we remember Jesus? Do we focus on Jesus or do we focus on the world? Do we get caught up with everything that's going on? And as Zach said, do we lose our identity in Christ? Or do we remember Jesus Christ? One thing we need to do is focus on Him. Keep our focus on Him. Always. He is the answer. He is the example that we can follow in everything that we do and everything that we encounter. And as the song said, He is our anchor in that anchor for us. Jesus meant his disciples in that upper room that night to celebrate the Passover feast. And while they were sitting there at the table and they were conversing, Jesus picked up that loaf of bread. And He held it up and He gave thanks to His Father. And He took the loaf of bread and He broke it in two and He passed it around. And He said, Take and eat, for this is My body. And as often as you do, do it in remembrance of me. Let's partake of Jesus' body this evening. After they had passed the bread, Jesus picked up the cup. And again, he raised it and he gave thanks. And he said, this is my blood poured out for you. Take and drink. And as often as you do it, do it in remembrance of me. Let's just take a few moments as we listen to this song. And just put your soul focus on Jesus Christ. What He did at the cross. The fact that the tomb was empty. And what that means for each one of us.